Hello folks, there's the map where we're going. Welcome to the Truck and Duck Show. Same time, same station, all that stuff. We're going to pick up a slow boy here. A little old dozer on it. And get the job done. We're back in her first skin in her Peterbilt uh, 370, 379, I think. I'm not sure, heck. But we're back in our truck. First truck. We're gonna take a run in it. You ready to get her done, Duck? <laughs> How about you, Ralph? Yeah, I'm ready, Rusty. I'm ready. I went riding in the race car for Swift last night and. Man, we had one hell of a wreck, I tell you what. Uh, we sat in the pit there for 30-some minutes while they hammered out the dents and dings and, and stuff and straightened that baby up. And we got back out there on the track. I ate two pizzas while we sat there in the pits, but... But, man, we had a hell of a wreck. You should have seen it, Rusty. You should have seen it. I didn't even scream like a little girl when I thought I would. Good for you, Ralph. That's SWS uh, EPHY Sim Racing Swifty. Er, yeah, Swifty Sim Racing. Go check, check some of that, his stuff out. He took Ralph a ride last night, even had Ralph's name on the car. Fine young man. You rode with him once before, Doug, and had your name on the car. Remember and scream the whole truth. Oh, yeah, I remember. That was scary. Yeah, it's pretty scary, Doug. Pretty scary running three inches away from them other cars. I could have reached out the window and wrote my name on them. Especially the one we hit. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, Ralph. Let's get this dozer wherever it needs to be going. This is L track dozer. They're going like, um, I don't know how big this thing's supposed to be, but if they're as big as they're supposed to be, they wouldn't fit on a low boy like that without taking them apart. But anyway, how many of y'all know why they fixed the tracks on them like that? That's a D9. They say it was a D9, D10 L, or a D6 L. They call it L, but the shape of the tracks. You know why they fixed the tracks like that? They did it to keep the rear ends out of the dirt and mud. Good idea, wasn't it? After all the years of building them, they finally figured out how to get the, the rear ends up out of the swamp, mud, and soup. Yeah, that, that Caterpillar bunch, that's a pretty smart bunch there, Rusty. They made a lot of money. No kidding, real. Nah, I ain't joking around, man. I'm telling you the facts. I know it, real. Can I get pull up my leg? Now I'm thinking about to start doing more stories and stuff. There they go, fellas. Listen at them. I 
I'm just sitting here driving, listening. I don't care. You fellas give me a headache. Come on, fellas, straighten up. Oh, straighten up, guys. Boy, I've heard that story before. Now he's wanting to be the boss. If he says something, we gotta do it. about done so we can get on with this <laughs> it wants me in the real family's video lost his mind that'd be a good idea real Oh, old Duke tell him bring it on. We might have a fight. Are you scared, Ralph? I don't think Ralph's scared. Boy, I'm glad that's about over. Now, now, fellas, what started that? All right, fellas, calm down. Let's get this job done here and look professional. Not like a bunch of kids going down the road fighting. I'm gonna put you both in dime out. Yeah, that'll be the day, Rusty. That'll be the day. Man, Ralph, you a bad ninja. You got that right, son. You got that right. That dog has made me mad. He does that every day, don't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. But I, but, but today, he's pushed too many buttons today. You'll be all right, Ralph. Hey, I got an idea, Ralph. Tell us a good story there to make the old duck really mad. A good song lyrics or something or another. Everybody got, everybody got your Ralph. Now I think I might do it. I think I might. Everybody got. Now I'm going to. You sit back there, duck. I gave a girl in my way. I ride in my wagon. She crawled in and took control. She was tired cause her mind was a dragon. I said, get some sleep and dream of rock and roll. Cause like a princess she was laying there. Moonlight dancing off her hair. She woke up and she took me by the hand. She's gonna love me in my Chevy van and that's all right with me. Come on, Ralph. Her young face. Like that of an angel, her long legs tan and brown. Keep your eyes on the road, son, you better slow this vehicle down. Cause like a princess she was laying there, moonlight dancing off her hair. She woke up and she took me by the hand, we're gonna make love in my Chevy van and that's alright with me. I put her out in a town that was so small. 
you could throw a rock from in the end. A dirt road main street. She walked off in bare feet. It's a shame I won't be passing through again. Cause like a princess she was laying there. Moonlight dancing off her hair. She woke up and took me by the hand. And we made love in my Chevy van. And that's alright with me. That song was a Chevy van, people, by Sammy Jones. I'm by Ralph. <laughs> uh, that was just reading lyrics by Sammy John. Chevy Van was a great song back in the day. But did you like it, though? <laughs> Yeah, you might have been able to do it better. You done the first verse pretty good. That's hard to do, Duck. You got that right, but I got a lot to say, got a lot to say. I got to get it out, got to get it out. I can't just go around and just uh, keep my mouth shut. I got to get it out or I blow up, bro. Yeah, we know it, Ralph. While y'all's doing all that reading lyrics, singing, and fighting, I passed my exit up in case anybody noticed my GPS, but that's what we do here at the Duck and Truck Show. Just ask anybody, we get lost a lot, because we don't pay much attention to where we're going. Like when you ride a motorcycle, you're never lost. Because you're never going anywhere. You can't get lost if you've got no destination. You just start riding and turn here, turn there, and turn everywhere. And, and you never lost that way. That's kind of what we do. We just drive and eventually we wind up where the loads are going. Almost every time. Yeah, that's right. I don't think we lost one yet now, Rusty. I don't know, Ralph. Maybe we lost one or two. I think we lost one one time when the road ran into a dead-end rock wall, and I just parked it beside the road and left it sitting there. Yeah, I remember that. That was a long, long time ago when we first started. Yeah, Ralph, it was before you even joined us. How do you remember I guess that, 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 that daggone duck told me about it, I guess, then. He's pretty nice after work. Good friend. But not at work. Skin on my truck with Mabel Wobbly Captain just for me. A few honor there. But it says MHA construction on it for MHA Pearl Mountains because they are always under construction. He's right now somewhere working on the map guaranteed. So it says MHA construction. 
and the drug and dog show. What else could you want on your drug? I like this kind of road right here, people. That's, that looks like a, a my home down. I'm gonna get my white Chevy van out, my big one. Get my GoPro camera. And I'm gonna make y'all another live ATS American truck. I'd like to go down around Nicholasville or somewhere where they got three lanes of traffic on both sides, busy as heck, and get you a picture of me driving that big van down the road in between all those cars. I'm a little better than that than I am this. I don't usually hit nothing. <laughs> 99% of the time I do okay. That other percent now, I run over some. You got that right, Russ. The last time we went somewhere and that thing, you scared the hell out of me. That just got it sets up so high, uh, Ralph. You can look right over at the 18 wheeler drivers and that thing face to face. That's nice to drive around. Sucks up a lot of gas, but nice to drive around. Got a little big lift on the back for a pair chair. You can drive right up the front seat and pop out and pop in the seat. Had automatic doors put on it, push remote control and open the doors. Nice. I like driving a peanut truck up and down the road, except I had motorcycles put on it so people think I was a wild man, which uh, I've rode motorcycles forever. Still got them, still ride them, so. I had a picture of my very own motorcycle put on the side of it. The 2005 Roadstar. On the side and sitting back. They got one motorcycle backwards when they printed them out. For the decals. And he offered to change it that day and... I said, nah, it'd be alright. And offered to give me a 30 $40 discount, and I said, nah, just, just give me the $30 $40 discount plate on there, and I wish that hadn't now, because it looks funny. One motorcycle going backwards down the road, the other one going the right way, but that's little mistakes we make in life. Yeah, we all make mistakes, Rusty, we all make mistakes. You got that right, I make enough for everybody. No, when you went to work with me, that wasn't one of them. That's the best thing ever happened to you, Doug. I don't know what that was, Doug. It looked like a glow-in-the-dark uh, Rubik's Cube. I have no idea what it is. Me neither, Duck, as a first. Yeah, it was glowing. Nah, I've done them Rubik's Cubes. Best way to do a Rubik's Cube, you take your hammer or your foot, pop that sucker open, line them all up, and put it back together. You know, people, I don't think, I, I don't know if I ever complete the Ruby's Cube or not before I throw it down. Used to have a lot of fun on Christmases when my son was, was small. Because you know me, I love remote controls and all that kind of stuff, so I'd get him fire trucks and with extendable letters or that everything worked remote or remote loaders and dozers and man I look forward to Christmas morning more than the kids did or we'd uh, we'd have them a little bit of present under the Christmas tree and uh, tie a piece of string on it and run it for a mile and have it tied to a bicycle somewhere on the other end stuff like that and, I got a good system for Christmas, anybody ever needs it, cause uh, you got two kids, you want to put stuff under the tree early, you don't want them to know whose it is, so you put uh, 
you put numbers on it. Right, like, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a boy and girl, I got a number for the boy and even for the girl, whatever, and then they don't know whose presence whose. One time I got my son to carry a TV. I bought him a TV for Christmas. He wanted one. And I got him to carry his own TV up to my brother-in-law's house where they was all going to get together for Christmas. He set her down there. Christmas was over at the brother-in-law's house. The box hadn't been opened. I said, grab that and carry that back to the car, son. Must have brought too many. <laughs> I'm a bad man. <laughs> Here we are at the parking place, people. I'm going to give you all a lesson in how not to park, okay? You watch this now. First, I shouldn't have came in this way. I don't think. Y'all can tell me how you would have done it. And I don't know how they'd have done it, Rusty, but you dare, hey, you dare go and Jordan and do it right. Now right there is the parking place, folks. And look at all the good junk that Alice, Alex put in the way. See, I cut that out there where I would roll up against the fence and took my hair to get it turned around in this position. Man, what a mess. Then I'm getting hung on that pole and Ralph said, Boy, don't it, Rusty, that dozer blade to take that bow out. So crazy me backs up and tries it again. That dozer blade to take that out, no problem. Yeah, Ralph. <laughs> See that little hole over there between you pull up in that little hole on the other side of them trailers? Imagine I've got this thing turned around there somehow between that trailer and that other trailer. It took a while, I had to cut some out. I didn't figure y'all wanted to see that. Ain't nobody wanted to see that, Rusty. I didn't even want to see it. <laughs> if we couldn't back under that trailer right there a little bit, we'd be in trouble. That's right. What the? That Ralph would be fast I'm not running your video. Hey Rusty, I'm back here to help you. Come on back. What'd you say, Ralph? I said, come on back. I'm trying. Get it right. We've been here for an hour and a half trying to park. I'm doing my best, Ralph. Well, your best ain't good enough. I'm on back, Rusty. I think you got her this time. I think you got her this time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe pull up 14 more times. Come on, Rusty. You're making us look bad. Easy, Ralph. Easy, Ralph. Don't be talking about me. Come on, Rusty. I know you got her this time. Come on back. You can't mess that up. Nobody can mess that up. I don't think it was nowhere near a good job, though, but we got her in there. No, we never give up. If it takes all day to dark, we'll be out here trying to park. That's right. Yeah, I did dumb and go. I wouldn't care. I did it on a hook right here. Folks, thanks for watching the crazy duck and truck show. Hope you enjoyed some of it. Oh, buddy, what are you doing standing there? And we'll be on our way to make another video. Thanks, folks. We're going to ride off into the sunset. The Duck and Drug Show. We're out of here. Bye-bye.